Hi, welcome back. I'm Scientist Kate. This is Grade 3, Weather and Climate. Lesson 3.5, Comparing Climates, Part 1. For this lesson, you will need a pencil or something to write with, and notebook pages 48 and 49. If you don't have these in front of you, pause the video and go get them. If you don't have access to these documents, that's okay too. You can just get a piece of paper and write your answers on that. Are you ready to do some science today? Awesome, me too. Let's go. Hi, welcome back. As meteorologists helping the Wildlife Protection Organization, we need to figure out which of these three islands weather is best for orangutans, but not just for one day or one month, but for many years. That's because if the orangutans are gonna live on the reserve for many years, they need to have the same type of climate year after year after year. What word describes the weather in a place over a long period of time? Do you remember? Tell me. Yeah, it's climate. The climate describes the pattern that happens year after year after year as the seasons change in a place. The weather describes what's happening in a place just on one day maybe. So weather is very short term and climate is very long term. We'll be investigating the climates of these islands, but first we'll investigate other climates, which will help us understand similarities and differences in climates around the world. We've already learned from this book that Boston and San Francisco have very different climates, and that's because Boston is on one side of the United States and San Francisco is on the other side. I wonder if these are the only places that have different climates. What do you think? I'm predicting that many different places in the world will have different climates. So today we're gonna to be using this book. It's called the World Weather Handbook and you can access it digitally by asking your teacher. I'm sure your teacher can get you access to this book, but if you can't get access to this book, that's okay too. You can follow along with me and I'll show you all the pages that you need. Now, remember at the beginning, I told you that you would need pages 48 and 49 from the notebook? Go ahead and get those now. Let's review the directions. Number one, Choose one location in World Weather Handbook and record its name. And this right here where it says location number one is where you're gonna write the name of the location. Number two, use the temperature and precipitation bar graphs and information in the text to complete the table. So these are the tables. There's a temperature table and there's a precipitation table and I'll help you figure out how to fill it out. Number three, Choose another location with a different climate and use the second table. And the second table is on page 49. So go ahead and grab those and then meet me back here when you're ready. All right? Great. Okay, we're gonna do the first one together. We're gonna complete page 48 as a group. So we're gonna be studying Acumal, Mexico. Have you ever been to Mexico? I went once and it was really hot and beautiful. So I'm predicting that Akumal is gonna have a hot climate because of my experience. Let's see if I'm right. I'm gonna read and you follow along. Ready? Akumal is a city on the coast of Mexico. This part of Mexico is in Central America, the narrow strip of land that joins North and South America. Akumal has hot weather all year. The average high temperature for each month is between 83 degrees Fahrenheit and 91 degrees Fahrenheit. Akumal does not have much of a warmer cold season since it's hot all year, but precipitation does change throughout the year. From May to October is Akumal's wet season when it rains most days. The dry season is from December to April. Hurricanes strike Akumal every few years, bringing heavy rain and very strong winds. Akumal has warm, clear water where sea turtles live. Because it is warm all year and it usually just rains for a little while at a time, people go diving and swimming even during the wet season. Wow, so my prediction about Akumal was correct. I really like these pages because they show you where the place is in the world. 
So let's take a look at the picture of the world. It's showing us that Acumal is right here at the bottom of Mexico. I live up here in Seattle, Washington. This is the United States. You can see Florida right here sticking out into the ocean. I really love to study maps. I think they're so cool. All right, so let's go to page 48. And remember, first you're gonna record the location name here, which is Acumal, Mexico. And then I want you to do this temperature related season. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna decide, does Acumal have no cold or warm season? Or does it have a cold and warm season? So you're gonna put an X or like a check, whatever you wanna do in one of those two boxes. And then you're gonna fill in the part next to it for whichever one you choose. So you only do the top or the bottom. Does that make sense? Now down here, this one is about precipitation. So you're gonna decide, is there no wet or dry season? Or is there a wet and dry season? After you X one of those boxes, you're gonna do the piece that goes off to the side. So if you check this box, you'll answer this. If you check this box, you'll answer this, but you don't do both. Okay, here's the text we just read, and here is the average high temperature and average total precipitation for Akumal. I want you to pause the video and fill out page 48 based on this information. When you're ready, unpause the video and we'll keep going. Hi, welcome back. Did you complete page 48? Great. All right, let's go over the answers and see if you and I got the same thing. So for location one, you can see I've written Acumal, Mexico in there. For temperature related season, which relates to this graph about temperature, do we think there's no cold or warm season or do we think it has a cold and warm season? I put no cold or warm season. That's because the bars that show temperature across the months are almost all the same height. There's really no change and it's hot every month. So we don't see that up and down pattern that we see in some places. It's just across the board hot. Okay, now for precipitation, do we think there's no wet or dry season or do we think there is a wet and dry season? I put has a wet and dry season because I see a lot of changes happening across the bars in the precipitation graph. It asks us to list some wet season months. Which of these months look like the wet season where the bar is high? I picked September and October because these bars are really high, but you really could have picked any of these months. Some dry season months, which of these months look dry to you? Yeah, I picked March and April because the precipitation bar is really low for those months. Great. Now we're going to move on to page 49. It's the exact same thing as page 48. We're just going to do a different city. So you have two options. You can pause the video and go to the digital ebook on the website and pick a city from the World Weather Handbook, any city you want, and fill out page 49. Or if you don't have access to the World Weather Handbook, you can just stay tuned and we're going to do Dakar, Senegal together. So make the choice now and pause the video. Okay, if you're staying here to do Dakar, Senegal, here we go. I'm gonna leave these two pieces of information up on the screen. We have the text and we have the graphs. I'm not gonna talk you through this one. I want you to do this one on your own. So pause the video now and go ahead and do Dakar, Senegal on page 49. I'll meet you back here when you're done. Hey, welcome back. Did you finish page 49? Great. So at the top of page 49, I put location two as Dakar, Senegal. And now we're gonna go over what we think the answers are. So looking at the green graph, which shows us temperatures, do you think there's no cold or warm season or do you think it has a cold and warm season? I picked no cold or warm season because Again, just like Akumal, the bars that show temperature across the months are almost all the same height and it's hot every month. Now, you may have noticed that there is a little bit of a hill there at the end, but to me, I looked at the actual temperature and I said, hmm, it's over 80 degrees every month of the year. 
there's no cold season there. It's just hot all the time. All right, so let's look at the precipitation. This graph looks a lot different than Acumal's. Remember Acumal Mexico's was kind of like up and down a bunch. This one is like nothing and then a bunch of rain and then nothing. So I definitely marked that it has a wet and dry season. Some of the wet season months, I chose August and September because these bars are really high. And for some dry season months, I chose January, February, and March. If you chose a different city out of the World Weather Handbook, you can talk to your teacher or an adult in your house to see if your answers are correct. All right, y'all, we have come to the key concept. That's the big idea of this lesson. Different places have different climates. I think we've figured that out together as we've studied all the different cities that we've looked at. We've looked at Anchorage, Alaska, St. Petersburg, Russia, Akumal, Mexico, Dakar, Senegal. You may have looked at a different place in the World Weather Handbook. Different places have different climates. It's not the same all over the world. And remember that when Toby moved from Boston to San Francisco, she discovered that those two cities have different climates, even though they're in the same country. So I wonder what we're going to find out next time. I hope you'll join me for Lesson 3.5, Comparing Climates, Part 2. Until then, I want you to stay safe and stay curious. Adios.